Hi, it's Justine Marjan, and I'm gonna walk you through some of my favorite hairstyles that I've done on Ashley Graham. This was actually one of the first times that I've worked with Ashley. She was filming for America's Next Top Model and we just wanted like a really cool edgy look. We gave her just effortless, cool girl texture and a little knot on the top of her head. When you wanna do a half up top knot, you really wanna look at the facial proportions to get the right amount of hair. So I always use a facial feature as a guide. So for this one, we used the edge of her eyebrows and then just sat the knot at the round of her head. I gave Ashley a really 60s inspired blowout for the Emmys after parties. We looked at Bridget Bardot, we had a lot of glam references, kind of bombshell, old school Hollywood. It's really key to set the style before you brush it out. So I blow dried the style first and I used a large round brush and then I set the curls with clips for a good 20 to 30 minutes. Sprayed a hairspray, took out the pins and then we kind of teased it at the roots for a lot of volume. We added some extensions for fullness but this is actually Ashley's real natural length. This was for the red carpet for Miss Universe when she was one of the hosts. We probably did six or seven looks. It was chaos and I was like running backstage, meeting her, like switching her hairstyle in five minutes. Because we had to do a full dress rehearsal, I didn't want to put a ton of product in her hair, but they really wanted it to look like it was done for the real event. So I try to use lightweight styling products. I find that if I use a hairspray and I brush it out, it's not really too much of an issue. This was one of my favorite looks when we were shooting for Swimsuits for All in Morocco. We just were giving her like sexy, kind of undone hair. I used the flat iron to get the waves, keep the ends straight. I think that's really key for undone looks. And then I used a lot of texture spray to kind of get that gritty, piecey separation in the hair. We shot this actually by the beach in Morocco. So we kind of just let the environment give it that amazing natural texture. So this was for the Steve Harvey show um, when she was a guest. She was wearing a really kind of structured outfit, so we wanted the hair up so she can show off her shoulders. And when I do ponytails, I always separate the hair into two sections. So I do a half up pony first, and then I add the bottom hair to the first ponytail. And the best way to do this is to spray a smoothing brush, like a Mason Pearson brush with hairspray. I use the Tresemme Micro Mist hairspray and extend, and then I brush the hair up, and that's how you get that really clean hairline. So it kind of pulls the eyes back. And then just secure with an elastic, and then gather the bottom half the same way I did the top half, and just add the two together. The ends were curled with the GH soft curl iron and then I wrapped the hair in alternate directions and then I lifted up the ponytail and back brushed it so it had a lot of volume. When I back brush the ponytail I hold up the entire length of the ponytail and then I use a Mason Pearson brush and just kind of slowly feather the hair down and then I brush the top layer over it so it kind of has this cushion that gives it a lot of lift. This was for another Swimsuits for All campaign that we shot in LA at this amazing mansion. So I created um, an old Hollywood inspired wave in her hair. I curled the hair towards her face and then set it with a clip. And then I alternated directions all the way around her head using really small sections with the iron and then letting it sit for a half an hour and I brushed it out with a smoothing brush and then I back brushed it. So that's why it has a lot of fluffy volume through the ends. To get the perfect flip around the hairline, I sprayed a toothbrush with hairspray and then kind of sculpted it into the shape I wanted to see and then set the look with creaseless clips and then let that sit until the very last second before they started shooting and then I took them out. This was for New York Fashion Week. It was a look for one of the shows she was going to. We gave her a super long, wet ponytail. And for my wet looks, I always use a lot of hair oil and Fat Boy water wax. It's kind of a wet looking pomade, but it gives that sheen that gives the illusion of wet hair and a lot of hold. At the hairline to get it really perfect, I will put the wax on a toothbrush and then brush the hair back. And then through the ends, I curled it in really small sections in alternate directions, so it kind of gets that natural looking wave. And then I just ran a ton of oil through the ends. 
This is probably one of my favorite looks I've done for Ashley. It was for the Amphar Gala. This was definitely very inspired by like 90s magazine covers. Ashley to me looks like a classic 90s supermodel, so I'm always really inspired by that. And this was a big risk for her. Um, she's never really had short hair like this and or done this tight of a curl. So to create the illusion of this short cut in the hair, I first curled her hair really, really tight with a curling iron um, in really small sections so it looked like a natural curl. And then I sectioned away the top section of her hair from the curve of the back of her head to the front hairline. And then I clipped that away and then I slicked back the sides and the back into kind of a French twist and then pulled the ends of it up so it fell towards her face. And that's when I released the top section and let it all kind of fall together. I use hairspray. I think I use the way matte pomade on the sides to pull the hair back. Um, and then I just use a lot of bobby pins and French pins. It's not super slicked, like I still wanted to see texture through it, so that's why I use a pomade on my fingers. The whole vibe was disco inspired, so I wanted to give her really big, voluminous disco curls. So I curled the hair in small sections with the GHD Classic Curl Iron. It's a one inch curling iron. And then I set the curls sprayed it with hairspray and brushed it out. I really wanted a really polished kind of hairline in the top half of the hair and the ends to be really fluffy and big. So I definitely back brushed it. I did add some extensions and teased the ends a lot. The previous look that we had done for the Swimsuits for All campaign, I kind of broke up the curls a little bit more and this one I kind of let them blend together. This is from the 2018 Met Gala. This is probably at least six or eight inches shorter than her natural hair. So we decided to really show off her shoulders and the awesome cut of the neckline of the dress. It's not that risky or edgy of a look as you might be used to for Met, but for her, it was dramatic because of the length. She had originally said she was gonna let me cut her hair into a lot, but then we got a little nervous as it got closer. So this was actually a faux lob. I blow dried the hair smooth, clipped away the parting and the front hairline, braided away basically her entire head except for the hair along the parting and the front hairline. Clipped them to her scalp with bobby pins. I attached hidden crown hair clip-in extensions to the braids. Flat ironed them super smooth with the GHD Platinum Plus Styler. Cut the extensions to a really blunt lob. Released the top section so that it looked like her real hair. Set it with creaseless clips. Sprayed a brush with hairspray to get a really clean parting and hairline and then I just ran a little bit of oil through the ends. It was my first Met Gala and I was so excited and honored that Ashley wanted me to do her hair. She was going to a pajama party and she decided for pajamas she was gonna wear a sexy red slip dress. So uh, I just thought Jessica Rabbit waves for sure. So I added clip-in extensions so she can have that dramatic wave. I gave her a deep side part over the arch of her eyebrow, curled all the hair in the same direction, wrapped the hair towards the face. I sprayed a brush with hairspray when I brushed it out, and then um, I used pomade around the hairline to get that really clean swoop around her eyes. This was for the CFDA Awards. She was wearing a kind of matte taupe, simple structured dress. So I gave her a really classic voluminous blowout. So I used a medium sized ceramic round brush to get a nice wave at the ends. And then I just brushed the hair and back brushed it for some bounce and body. I did add a couple extensions for fullness on the sides, but that's it for this. It was pretty simple. This was for the talk. She was a host for one of the days, so we gave her a really 90s messy updo with the tendrils kind of hanging around the face. So I use a really small curling iron and I curl the hair in tiny, tiny sections in alternate directions. I uh, spray hairspray and brush out the curls with a wide tooth comb so it gets a really piecey finish. Loosely gathered the hair at the top of her head 
and created a knot with it, pinned it into place with French pins and then pulled it apart so it was kind of this messy top knot. I'm so inspired by the 90s. Like I can't help myself when I see her. <laughs> I love working with Ashley because not only is she so beautiful, but she's so smart and just such an inspiration. She's been such a trailblazer in her field. She's such a great person to be around. It was so much fun going through all these past looks with Ashley. I can't wait to see what looks we do in the future.